Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Manufa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Mark 21 Midas. No, this is not Citripio. It's actually a golden version of Iron Man. But before we start, if you want to get this figure, make sure you check out Pop Collectibles. Link in the description below. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos, and now figure previews, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. All right, enough of the talking. We came here to see this baby. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, and here we have the packaging and you can see a nice picture of Iron Man in the front. This is the exclusive edition of Mark 21 Midas. This is the side of the box. We have a cool reactor uh, pattern there on the side. This is the back with all the crits and warnings, small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side of the box with Mark 21 Midas with a cool golden color there. This is the bottom of the box, Iron Man 3. And last but not least, the top with Mark 21, AKA c -tripio. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not c -tripio. Now let me open this up so we can see what else we have in the packaging. So now we have the classic insert foam, Mark 21. Now let me open this up and take a better look at the figure and the accessories. And here we have Mark 21 and I think it looks very cool. Underneath we have all the base, we have the instructions, so make sure you read it because it will tell you how to put the batteries. That's it. This is the base, batteries, accessories. It comes with a, well, actually it's not a lot, but we will go over in the accessory section. So don't worry, we're going to take a look at every single little thing about this figure. So now let me show you how you'll see Iron Man in the packaging. And here we have him looking very cool, super nice color as well. And of course, the hands. And that's basically it for this. Now, what I'm going to do next is take everything out and take a closer look at the figure. And here we have a Mark 21, guys. I really like it. I mean, yes, it, it, the colors are very similar to the trip. I don't know why I have that in my head, but it looks super cool. I like this golden rose color. I think it is a good, good touch. Now, taking a closer look at the helmet, you can see the detail very nicely done. I think the paint application is excellent. It is very heavy, very heavy, and I'm surprised. This is the side of the helmet. You can see the detail on the ears, kind of like the profile. This is the back of the head. You can see more um, layers there and really nice color, golden color. This is the other side of the helmet. And of course, the front, where you can see the classic look of Iron Man. So now this piece is removable, obviously, because you're going to get access to the batteries. Very easy to do. So you can see the on and off switch. So let me just turn this on so you guys can see how bright this is. And actually, it's not that bad. I'm going to turn off the light so you guys can see better. So let me put this on and let me turn off the lights so you guys can see more of the brightness and make your own judgment. What do you think? I think it's good. I think it's good. It does the job. Absolutely, yes. Super cool. Actually, I kind of like it in the dark. I should leave it like this. Well, I'm just kidding. I can't leave it like this. But anyway, so let me turn this off because I don't want my batteries to run out. So you turn this off, put this on, and put this on. That's it. So let's take a look at the details in the front. We have the chest, which is removable as well. I'm going to show you in just a second. You can see the armpit <laughs> with all the details, mechanical details there. And I think it is very cool. I kind of like this armor as well. So let me just remove this. This is very classic with all the Iron Man figures. You can see the reactor and of course, all the little mechanical pieces that uh, makes this piece super cool. And that's basically it for this. So this is the back of the chest piece in case you wonder, it's magnetic, but also you can push it like so and it will be in place securely, no problem whatsoever. Now, taking a closer, clo closer look at the side of the figure, you can see the pattern and the detail there. And that's basically it. You can see the other side. Now, you can actually push this up and you're going to have more range of motion in the torso. So that's a good addition. Very similar to other Iron Man figures. So that's not new, but 
I think it is a good touch. Now taking a look at the arm, you can see all the details there with the golden and rose color. And that's basically it. Now moving down to the legs, you can see the continuation of the pattern. It looks very bulky and very heavy. This figure is heavy. I like this piece here on the side of the leg, looking very mechanical, very nice. These pieces here in the front are also removable, but you can also uh, extend the leg so for more articulation. So you can uh, move this up, move this up, and you're gonna have more range of motion, which is gonna help to move the leg better. So let me just move this down. And now these pieces here are removable as well. So let me just take this piece out. And as you can see, very easy to put on and off. Now moving uh, to this piece here that is also, um, you have access to the battery. So let me just remove it. And you can see the on and off switch. Let me just turn this on. Let me remove the hand and let me turn off the lights. So you can see the brightness of the hand. And actually it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Now this figure doesn't have a lot of lighting feature, but whatever it has is, I think, enough for this particular figure. So let me just put this on and of course, put the hand back. All right, so taking another look at the uh, legs as well, moving down, you can see the knees, you can see the colors as well. And of course the feet, which I kind of like how the design is, but Actually, there's one thing that I didn't like about the feet, which we're going to go over in the articulation section. So this is the back and this piece here is also removable as well as the other side. You can see those little mechanical or maybe missiles. I don't know what that is, but it looks super cool. Let me just uh, close this down. Both legs, you can do the same thing. So, so now you can see Iron Man's booty. <laughs> this is the back. You can see the continuation of the pattern. You can move these flaps up and down. Just be careful, gently, because you know, you don't want to break it. And you can see the detail underneath. Now this piece is removable and it's going to give you access to the lighting feature in the front. So let me just turn this on. And again, same as before, I'm going to turn off the lights so you guys can see the brightness. And I think it looks good, right? It, it looks actually pretty good. Not bad. Just don't forget to turn it off or remove the batteries because, you know, you don't want to run out of batteries. So let me just put this on and that's basically it. A very solid figure for sure. Now this piece is removable and you can change it with other accessories, which we're going to go over in the accessory section as well. And that's basically it. I show you pretty much everything that you can remove from this figure. Now let's do some articulation, shall we? All right, for Iron Man, you can move the head up this much, as you can see, down this much, and to the sides this much. Very good articulation on the head. Now for the shoulder uh, pad, you can move it up and down. You can lift the arm for about this much. You have some swivel on the biceps. And of course, you can do a full 360 with this figure, as you can see, very nice. Now for the arm, you can uh, bend it about this much. And that's basically it. Now for the torso, as I said before, if you push it up, you can have more range of motion and you can have more swivel and of course more up crunch. You can see the up crunch and the swivel. Very nice um, articulation here. Let me just push it down. Now for the legs, you need to extend it so you can have more range of motion. And what you can do is you move this up and you can move this other side as well. And then you can lift the leg for about this much. Not bad. Then let me just put this back. Now you can bend the knee about this much. And last but not least, the feet articulation, which in my opinion is a problem. And you'll see why. You can move the feet up and down. And you can see those little pieces moving up. So just be careful when you do it. And of course back. So not bad. Now the problem is that there is no ankle pivot. And I don't know what Hot Toys was thinking. There's no uncle pivot, and that's bad for an Iron Man figure. But it is what it is. But you have some toe articulation. <laughs> okay, no uncle pivot, but toe articulation. Not bad. Now, that's basically it for the articulation. I'm going to show you the head sculpt that I put on this Mark 21. And as you can see, this is a Mark 50's Tony Stark head sculpt. And honestly, I think it looks very cool. 
I just wanted to do it this way because I know you're going to ask me. And before you ask me, I want to show it to you. So as you can see, Mark 50's head sculpt, very easy to put on and off. You just remove the other head and just put this one there. You can actually use the glasses if you have them. And that's basically it. I think this looks super cool and I would have wanted to see a head sculpt with this figure. But let's do some comparisons. And here we have a Mark 21 next to the holographic version. And you can see the height pretty much the same. For the next one, we have one of the best figures I have in my collection, Mark 47. And again, same height, Mark 47 is still my favorite. Last but not least, we have the super tall Mark 50, Tony Stark looking super, super cool. Now, enough with the comparisons. Let's take a closer look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories and started with the base. This is a reusable base. You can see Mark 21 in the front. I actually like the pattern here on the top. The only problem that I see here is that those little lights there don't work. I don't know why they kept it there, but there's no batteries. As you can see, they just reuse it, leave, left it like that and whatever. And we have more accessories here on the side that goes to the arm, the shoulder, and of course the leg. So now this piece goes in the shoulder and I kind of like the detail here. You can see the missiles and of course you can move it up and down. This is very fragile, so just be very careful when you handle it. And that's basically it for this one. Now for the next one, it comes with two pieces that goes on the leg, on the thighs rather. You can see the missiles, very nice paint application with a cool silver color. And of course this kind of like rose um, color. Now moving down, we have the piece that goes in the arm, of course, with the missile, with the golden. You can see the missile coming out. Very cool mechanical effect as well. Very detailed, you can see here on the side. And this is the top, looking very good. And of course, this one has also the R or left. And this is the piece that goes underneath when you put it in the arm. I'm just going to close it so you can see the full picture. You can see the detail underneath. And... That's basically it, looking very cool. I think it is a nice addition to this uh, set. Now we have four hands, and the one that I'm showing you right now has articulated fingers, so you can move the fingers. You can use the middle finger if you want, but I would not recommend. <laughs> you can move all those fingers, looking very cool. You can move this piece up and down, and that's basically it for this. Now, this is gonna take me to my final thoughts about this figure. I'm very, very happy with this figure. And starting with the likeness, I think it is on point. I mean, the paint application is nice. The color on the suit, it is a bit heavy. So just be careful when you handle it. Now, the accessories, it is okay. It doesn't come with much, but I think the amount of accessories is decent for this particular figure. Now, the articulation is not that bad. The only problem I have again is the articulation on the feet. I think Hot Toys need to step up and do a better job. With a price point of about $410, this figure is definitely a must-have in your collection if you are an Iron Man lover. And because of that, my final score is 8.5 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my Instagram and Facebook group Six Scale Media for anything related once it's called figures. Both links in the description below. Also, if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.